Right, today I want to talk to you about how to start the golf swing. It's one thing that I've been seeing quite a lot of recently on my skillist lessons with people are starting from too static a position. The golf swing is a dynamic movement. So I want to show you how you can start the swing and get a feeling for using pressures properly, uh, which will help you to have a much more smoother and a more reliable golf swing. So come on, let's go do it. <laughs> Okay, so one of the things that I see golfers struggle with the most is, is sometimes they start with too static a position. They're too tense uh, and they're too rigid and they, they start away very, very sort of jerkily and, and, and not in a smooth manner. And the golf swing is a dynamic movement, okay? And, you know, many, many years ago, and I'm talking sort of 50s, 60s in the golf swing, the golf swing was very dynamic. You know, you had the likes of, you know, your Hogan's and your, you know, your, your Sneeds and so on. And the swing was very, very dynamic. It was flowing and it moved quite nicely. And there was no stop points. But then, I'm not saying it's wrong, okay, it's, and rightfully so, there was the new swing area came in where it was about being more about positional, about getting the club in the right positions and so on and so forth. And that made us all become very static, all right? Uh, Guilty as charged, went through that period. I'm a 90s baby. I learned well, I learned golf in the late 80s uh, and early 90s, and positions was all you know key. And, and we still use it a little bit today when teaching, um, you know, for, for reference points. But ideally, the golf swing is, is a, it's a flow in motion, it, it never stops. Okay, and there is no top of the back swing, there's no, there's no midway back positions, and so on and so forth. They're part, they're areas that you pass through. Okay. And why is that important? Well, it's important because it's going to give flow to the swing. It's going to help it to sequence out better. Um, and, and even David Ledbetter, who, who was very instrumental in, in positioning, even he calls them links, okay, which means they're links that you pass through, not, not swing to. So it's important you understand that and take context into what you're hearing on, online and, and, and in books and in magazines and, and so on. And it was a big flow thing to my swing, really, on how to swing the golf club. It made me feel I became more aware of what the club head was doing, and that was sort of dictating really what my body was doing. Uh, so it's very important that we learn to do that. And starting from uh, a static position is, is just going to breed in tension, which is a killer for the golf swing. And, and that's why we need to have a little bit of fluid and, and fluidity to the swing and a bit of movement that's going to help you to, to get the swing moving at the you know at a right pace and sequence up correctly as well. Okay, so... That's really what we were looking at today. It's, it's a very quick video. Uh, you'll be pleased to know. It's not one of my longest ones, but generally we want to try and have the swing, you know, sort of flow in. And, you know, we, many years ago we used to, you know, have the swing starting from a, a nice relaxed position and, you know, and, and then it's uh, and swinging through. Everything just sort of flows nicely together. And if we can do that, you'll, you'll strike the ball a lot better because everything connects and coordinates up properly. So it's very, very important that you, you, you maybe try this out. Um, yeah, I'm not saying it's law, you don't have to do it, but I know from experience that it will actually improve your golf swing, all right? So learning to start from a movement is, is really important. So there's two things that you could actually possibly do, all right? So one of the ones that I like to do is to use the pressure in my feet, okay? And I like to feel as though that I go left, right, and left. Okay, and that's the feeling I'm going to get. So I'm going to start the swing by going left. I'm going to move a little bit to the left so I can feel myself move, fraction into my left side. That's going to rebound me to my right side and then move to my left. This is going to help me to, to trigger the, the swing, okay, to get me started in the right manner. It's going to set it up for it's a nice flowing motion, dynamic motion, but also it helps me with transition. Okay, so I do this little press there. By the time the club gets to about here somewhere, I'm actually pushing over to my left hand side and that triggers transition. So I'm actually triggering transition in the downswing about here somewhere. Uh, and by the time it gets to here, I'm, I'm already over on my left hand side. So it helps to trigger a lot of right things and sequencing, which is very, very important. So very important, you just get that feeling. So I'm just gonna feel I'm gonna go left, right, left, okay? And that's the feeling you're gonna get. And you can say this in your head, left, right, left. And I can feel it moving into my right heel uh, I can feel it moving, sorry, into my forefoot and my left foot on the forward swing, moves back to my right heel on my back swing, and then up to my left heel on the forward swing, okay? So I'm feeling the weight moving around in my feet, okay? And that's going to help to trigger it. And my hands and arms will probably just follow um, the swing anyway, if that makes sense. So it's very, very important you can try that. You can try that one um, 
just to get you going really. You don't have to go you know, too hard or fast. But so really from a, just a, a dress position, I'm nice and relaxed, keeping my hands and arms nice and relaxed. I'm gonna go left, right, left, left. Okay, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just feel that movement. I'm not worried where the ball goes. Obviously I'm hitting to a net, which is, in my opinion, sometimes the best practice because you're not worried where the ball's going. As long as it stays in the net, I'm happy. <laughs> Otherwise my neighbors won't be very happy but it's a big enough net anyway. So that's what I'm feeling, I'm feeling left, right, left. And this helps me to trigger my swing. So left, right, left, okay? And that's what I'm trying to work on in my golf swing. It just adds in movement, okay? You can try it fast, you can try it slow, you don't have to be fast or speedy. So you're just gonna go left, right, left, okay? You can do it at different space, paces. Find one that suits you okay there's no right there's no wrong in doing this um find the one that suits you okay and that gives you the best results start off slowly i'm always a big advocate for starting slowly on things and then building speed up you don't have to go straight away with driver you can even start it with a wedge okay i've got seven iron here but you can start it with a wedge if you wanted to so that's just a way of feeling it so you're going to sort of go from you're going to go left right left okay left right left okay if you can say that in your head um, or if you have any other words you'd like to use but you can you can use that just to try and influence the golf swing a little bit more so left right and left okay that was my shot compress that one so try that out it just brings a bit of motion back to the swing rather than being too static we see so many golfers they get too tight and their arms start to tighten up and they're from a static position here and then it's all back and, and through and it's you're not going to get it becomes a bit jerky okay there's no flow or movement to the swing and that's what we really want the golf swing is a dynamic movement not a static movement okay same as any other sport and finally there's a second thing that you can have a go at doing you can probably combine the two together there's no reasons why you can't combine drills and we call it the front loader drill so basically you're just going to sort of start with the swing with the club head outside your left foot um, you're going to start it out here and this is just going to trigger you back down and three this just helps to trigger the swing off nicely and you can start at address you can swing over the top back and through okay and this is going to help to just trigger the whole swing and get the sequence working correctly um, and so the front loader drill works all the time you can take your time doing it but just starting with the club head out in front swinging back and then swinging through this will help you to just encourage the right movement it actually helps you with the takeaway as well because if the club starts over here the momentum is going to encourage it to go back in the right place you're not going to go from here round to here somewhere or, or you know from here and up here all right, you're gonna you're gonna swing it back nice and straight from the ball okay just encourages a lot of good things but this just encourages you to move from a or get the feeling of moving forward and back and through so the the left right left but also with the encouragement of using the hands correctly okay and swinging the club on the right path so you're just going to start here you're going to swing back back and through okay do it off a tee peg off a ground if you feel brave enough but just get that feeling of just swinging the clubs, just starting over here, forward, back, left, right, left, and then swinging through. You'll improve your swing a heck of a lot and your distance and your, um, effort, uh, your effort will become increased because you're using a dynamic motion as opposed to a static motion, okay? So very quickly, but that's really what I really would like you to try to do. So two things there really, get a feeling of the pressure moving in your feet, left, right, left, okay? and say that out loud in your head if you have to. And then also then do what we call the front loader drill, which sort of triggers you to the left-hand side anyway. So you, you can feel your weight. When you do it naturally, you'll swing your weight to the left side, back and through. It will trigger the whole swing naturally anyway. All right, so hopefully that helps you. So there we have it. That's this week's lesson, okay? I really wanted to teach you to get the swing moving, okay? You do in other sports. If you was playing, you know, whether it be soccer, football, um, basketball, baseball, anything like that you're moving around you're not starting in static positions and golf is no different to that as well because we see so many golfers start static and it just breeds in tension and one of the biggest killers in the golf swing is tension as soon as you start locking these shoulder joints up you, your swings had it 
okay? So it's really important that we try and keep tension out of it. And that generally comes by movement and fluidity, okay? And if you can blend that into your goal string, I promise you it'll work. Start slowly though, start with a wedge if you have to and build yourself up. Don't go straight in with the driver, which we'll see a lot of golfers do. Um, just take your time and play around with speed as well. Tempo, okay? Try it at, you know, at a slower speed and then build up to a faster speed, okay? Build confidence with it. It's not going to happen straight away, but a given time, it will hum. And I promise you that as well. So, anyway, thanks for watching this week, um, and I'll catch you next week. Please remember to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, also, as well, if you're interested, there is another uh, channel that I have as well, which is on the Skidist app. Uh, Skidist is where I teach. Uh, but I tend to do exclusive content for them as well on there, probably sometimes a bit more technical. Um, but yeah, please, if you want to come on that, follow me on there. It's free um, and you can get exclusive content come to you every Friday. OK, uh, it's called Fix It Fridays uh, and also there's opportunities to have lessons as well. Anyway, hope you're well and I'll catch you next week.